to listen to more ritual pastas, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Where shall I begin? First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Amadeus Helmstein, and I am Lord of Castle Schwarzwald, which has been in my family for many generations. Not that it means much, considering the villagers despised my cursed estate for the sins of my forefathers. After many attempts to make peace of them, and being shunned at every gesture of good faith, I became occlusive to my crumbling stone abode. Once the fairest castle in all of Germany, now reduced to rubble in many sections of the once magnificent stronghold, I live out the rest of my days in solitude. My only human contact, long since deceased, was the family servant, last of his line, who had raised me after my father's suicide in the very room where I had lain my head to sleep. My servant, Wilhelm, had seen many generations of my family, and every member had met an untimely end. My great-grandfather, whom Wilhelm attended to in his youth, was crushed by a falling stone during one of his morning routines, which is quite ironic considering how our family name means Heaven Stone. Then, my grandfather met his end when he was conducting an experiment in the alchemy lab and sudden combustion and a subsequent explosion had left nothing but ashes. And for my father, well, you already know his end. Death by hanging from his own hand, attempting to escape the gruesome fate of his kin. One day, I know fate too will come for me, but for now, I look over my dusty ancestral tomes in the library. Through these ancient texts, I discovered what my family had done to deserve the fear and hatred from the common folk. We were the richest and most powerful family in the entire province, and the peasants below were our serfs who fought very highly of us. As far as they knew, they were treated very justly and provided for as long as they tilled the fields and reaped the harvest. But there was a dark side. My family was strongly into the occult as well as other practices generally frowned upon. There would be an occasional disappearance amongst the village people. It would not go unnoticed, but sooner or later a body would appear in the forest nearby, and the corpse would be discovered in a bad state of decomposition, so the villagers chalked it up to an animal attack. The truth, however, was far more sinister. Under the cloak of darkness, a member of my family would steal away some unfortunate soul to the dark underbelly of Castle Schwarzwald, and they would become subjugated to a variety of things whether it would be an inhumane medical experiment, become part of a ritual to appease some long forgotten dark deity, perhaps be turned into a stew to be served for dinner the next day. The possibilities of the pain they could inflict upon these innocent people was almost limitless. This would be their downfall, however, for after an especially brutal experiment, one of their captives made their way through the woods and into the village, where he informed the village of the sick and twisted nature of this castle Schwarzwald and the Helmstein family. Through further research, I found that after that day, a curse had befallen my family, and many hardships followed. There were unexplained deaths, outbreaks of disease, various disfiguring accidents, depletion of the family wealth, and last but not least, the overgrowth of the grounds around the castle with trees that bore no leaves, no matter the season, but were not truly dead. Every day I gazed upon these hideous deformities, a reminder of my impending doom, 
so I attempted to avert my gaze from them as often as possible. Through the many books I read, I learned a variety of magic spells, incantations to conjure beasts from places less pleasant than earth, as well as alchemic experiments to change the state of matter as I saw fit. But none of these things have brought me solace. Each day, my loneliness took its toll on my mental and physical health. If only I could not suffer alone. So I pulled together my vast wealth knowledge and attempted to conjure a companion to keep me company for the rest of my days. After scouring many magic tomes about necromancy, alchemy, and witchcraft, searching for a way to bring life to that which is lifeless, I stumbled upon something which had great promise. It would require all of my skill and magical ability, as well as the life of another human being, but I would be able to craft myself a companion.